Welcome back. Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian with a brand new album, Plant Based Jokes, which is available right now. Please welcome the hilarious Ophira Eisenberg. <laughs> to be here. This is awesome. Uh, ah, so, uh, I'm single. I'm sorry, I am married with a child. <laughs> uh, I always forget which female comedian I am. I am married with a child. I, I have a, a little six-year-old son. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it is weird being here, knowing he's at home alone, but so, <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, and I had him later in life. Um, and when I was pregnant, I was considered both high risk and an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and as a woman, of course, if you do anything off of society's time clock for you, you are judged, you're asked a lot of dumb questions. I can't even tell you the number of times I've been asked, why did you wait so long? <laughs> it's because I hate Kids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but they say you love your own, you know, fingers crossed. Um, it's a little too young to tell. No, 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 that, he's cool. I have a cool kid. I guess, I don't know. I call him, I call him my good egg, because I know for a fact he was my last good egg. <laughs> and, and I can't believe I had this kid biologically, but we're raising him adopted, because... <laughs> I want him to feel chosen, okay? <laughs> I want him to feel chosen. I think the, the rudest thing anyone said to me was, it was a man, it was a strange man, I did not know him. I was with my little kid, and he came up to me and he said, uh, is that your first child? And I was like, yes, and he goes, that's wonderful. I'm just curious, how long were you trying? Oh. I know, and I just answered, I was like, I think it was five or six minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I remember Game of Thrones was on pause. <laughs> and then the magic happened. Oh, yeah. My husband is a nerd. I married a nerd. And I asked him to buy some clothes for our kid. OK, so we bought our son a T-shirt. Now, they love putting slogans on kids' clothes, OK? And they're very gendered. If it's a little boy, they're all about daddy. OK, so we got this T-shirt for our son that reads, tough like daddy. <laughs> I was like, wait till they meet daddy, <laughs> because, <laughs> no, no. We need overly sensitive, like daddy, that would be good. <laughs> or often confused, like daddy, that's accurate. Can't hold his liquor, like daddy, that's <laughs> how the whole thing started. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying, you know, it's uh, our first kids, so we're figuring it out, and then, the pandemic happened, and I'll tell you this, nobody told me as a mother that I would have to raise my own child, okay? <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> Sometimes I look back to before all of this and I wonder, did I used to parent before? <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> when there was school and activities and babysitters and a grandparent, I think I used to weigh in like 12% of the time, okay? <laughs> and I want the team back, people. I want the team back. I'm, I'm just looking for some positivity, really. Uh, it's obviously hard to read the news. And then I'm just scrolling through my lifestyle pieces, and they are bummers too, I gotta say. I was looking at the headlines, and this is what they are. They're like, has Zoom changed your brain chemistry permanently? I was like, oh my goodness. Your relationship survived the pandemic, but will it survive the summer? Experts say no. <laughs> 10 things you love that are gone. It's just like, oh my. I just need some levity right now. I want some optimism. I'll read anything positive, even if it's clickbait garbage. I want to read it, OK? I want to read, studies show alternating coffee and wine is good for your brain chemistry. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Crying, great for your skin. Yeah. <laughs> 
10 unmotivated people who became billionaires. <laughs>